So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? Oh, that was really sweet. What did you all think of the River of Lights? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Lights of possesses such air. power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual oh, curiosity. So, they have yet to be fulfilled. So People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle hey, of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> he keeps walking into me. Sharing my idle thoughts, keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. You hear? I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company. Today's experience was surely the will of the planet. May you cherish it always. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... Sealed so that none may enter? Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Vale, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Yeah. Then off we go. I mean, Cloud didn't say the thing, but I think we got something else sweet out of it. But we do have something else that might be quite emotional. We have good old Sato. came under attack my mother fought with courage with honor she faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us my father though he turned tail and ran he was a coward so then you still haven't forgiven him why would i oh. i see man's in for a shock Chamber of Deception. Foreboding. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. That would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Do I get to choose? Ah. You do nicely. Me? Okay. Him? Really? <laughs> At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. When 
whenever you're ready. Ah, you two are bros. Okay. I maybe you get to play with all the uh, characters, perhaps. Okay. I'll take that because that's on offer. Okay. Nice usage of a uh, Red's theme there. Can I talk to the other characters? No. Nope. Make sure that you are well prepared. You gonna watch my back? Yeah. Turning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. Hold on. Materia, of course. I need assess. What am I playing? Oh, he has assess materia. Perfect. How convenient. Cave of the Gi. Knee dog. Is Red, is he going to have this voice all the time now? I mean, if they commit to it, I'm happy with that. Though it's certainly unexpected. Remember to watch where you land. Why can I die? Okay. Momentum. Not great for the materia slots, so I will not be using that. Comfort is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here. And even after 45 years, scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody fill me in. Who are the Gi? The tribe known to them few people. These little fuckers. The rest you will learn in due time. Of that you can be certain. For now, let us proceed. Stingers. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Wait, wrong stinger. Come on. Stop crawling, you shitter. Damn time. Give him 
Nice, good aim. Yeah. <laughs> the youthful voice, man. I'm curious, is that Max Mittelman doing the the young sounding red voice, or is it a completely different VA? Because to be fair, I think Max has the range to do it. I just can't tell. Revival earrings. Do I need to, like, let them through or something? Oh, Red's fun to play. He's really fun to play. Let's try and get up here. Maybe that lets me skip certain enemies. Yeah! <laughs> 
chest over there. Okay. Only got two legs here, you know. Stop looping dialogue, Barrett, please. Oh, fuck me. It feels like we're entering Casa Doom. A Balrog. A demon of the ancient world. This foe is beyond any of you. Do not do that. There is a chest over there, okay. Damn it, that doesn't look convenient. You asked for it. Here goes. You want some more? A Gi warrior. Right, well, this is definitely a boss. He's going to wake up and we're going to have to fight him. Oh boy. What the hell is that? Maybe not. Might just be a statue. Circumstances, I would stress that you uh, mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they're as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, we'll do. Press and hold L2 near an object to grab it with your mouth and release the button to drop it. Initiating combat will also cause you to drop it. Grab the gear artifacts scattered around. Okay. Well, there's probably one up here. I'd assume. Yep. Bow about wood. Well, if it isn't a key arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Oh, a key warrior's charm. What does that do? Increases the limit gauge fill rate by 10%. Nice. 
nice. Should I probably be taking something else? Limit Siphon sounds really cool. What You you know what you could do uh, that with? Give that to Aerith. Then she can Limit Siphon from the teammates and then use uh, the, the Fury limit, her level 3. Though I think in order to use the level 3, you're probably going to have to... Um, you're probably going to have to raise the limit level. I don't... Do you think you'd have to do that twice in order to do that? A bone, a pebble. <laughs> They're gonna make a joke about, here boy, bring us the bone. You, you have brought us a bone. Are you, are you taking the piss? It's probably up top. Come on now, Nanaki. Stop fucking around. That is a dildo. Don't want to get that yet. Because I feel like we might miss out on these, so... Ah, yes. An armament of the Vale. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. A mystic collar. Could I pick that up? So no linked slots. Watcher's Spirit. Deplete the Vengeance Gauge to increase allies' ATB. Potency proportional to amount expended. That's really fucking good. Yes, please. Uh, Swap that there. Actually, I mean, th there's no holy damage, but Alexander would be perfect in the Cave of the Gi.
yeah. Guy Lancer. Gotta watch out for Petrify. Exploiting their elemental weakness with magic attacks or hitting them with healing spells will pressure them. Ah. They will not remain dead so long as a Gi sorcerer is present. That was perfect, actually. That's a big boost. That spectre you fought was a fallen key. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Look at this. Are these altars? Interesting, because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place.
Pauline, Daddy loves you. Is that it? <laughs> Not in the least. Oh, that's easy. There's one right here. Man, you gee, uh, you're making it real easy for me. Uh oh. Gotta handle this myself. What's this? Fortification? Meh. He's coming alive. That's a fall. Well, I'm probably we're probably gonna be fighting more of these dudes. I shouldn't be worried. I'm thinking of assassin. Let's try using cure on him. I'd be very surprised if we don't fight more of those. That's it. intertwined with the key for they first came to these lands many millennia ago this sanctuary is proof of their persistence for it was built to ensure that they never escape but if they were sealed away thousands of years ago how'd they break out and attack the veil vale? that I cannot answer only the key themselves could 
but enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Nanaki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be deep. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Sato. Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to defend the way, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of that? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gi. Their malice grows more potent. Let me just check. I think it was Gee Lancer is the one I need to scan. No, did I already scan them? Maybe I already did. No, it was Gee Spectre. Where's Guy Lancer then? That's weird. That's a bit sus. Look at this. This is a dungeon, all right. This is giving me Kazadoom vibes now. <laughs> Enemies all over the shop. Come on. I need to get the uh, proficiency up. Hey.
Uh oh. Oh, give me a heal uh, before it fucked off. That's lovely. He's speaking so differently. There's a complete character change. It's interesting, because that never... Seriously, it didn't come across like that in the RG. I don't know if they meant you to feel like that. Because I don't remember if he talks in uh, Advent Children. It's been a while since I've seen it. So I'm not sure if he has, you know, the serious voice there. Whose weapon is this going to be? I'm thinking Aerith. She's a bit behind with uh, her staves. I reckon an Aerith staff. Nope. Calamitous Bazooka. Okay. She's falling well behind in terms of equipment. Another gun for Barrett. I don't know if he's going to have one more. Or if this is the last one. Smackdown. It looks badass. Strike two or more enemies. It's a bit sad they've only given him one new ability. All of these are repurposed from Remake. Just on different weapons. He doesn't have any close range weapons in this game, weirdly enough. Uh, I mean, I should give him something, like some materia, just so he has some. He can level something up. <sighs> just level up fire. Oh, thanks for telling me that, game. I was thinking a bit more outside the box, but okay. I didn't see a chain here. There's nothing resourceful about what he just did.
It did hit him, okay. Ooh. He took quite a beating. Visually, this is incredible. Look at all the red. It's just demonic. Thanks, man. We're gonna kill the sorcerer first. Where's the sorcerer? I'm kind of struggling here. Holy shit. I kind of underestimated them a little. Okay. What? What? That just happened. That just fucking happened. Okay. That was legit. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't even know that they fucking used Petrified. It didn't seem like they did at all. Amogus.
Fuck me. In what sense? They have yet to truly pass on, and their rage remains unquenched. Come, let us keep pressing forward. We're very nearly there. Don't sleep on Petrify, man. Blood Fang. Dinner time. Dinner time. That's some fucking Sonic the Hedgehog to your dialogue. <laughs> What do I get for this? It's not even worth it. I don't give a shit about empowerment. I mean, I'm sure it's okay, but... How many empowerment materials do I have? Like, fucking six? What about all the other materials I could get? What about some of the ones we haven't come across yet? We haven't come across Comet. I'd love to have Comet, mate. Do I need to latch this onto something? No. I only got two legs here, you know. This reminds me of those altars. Oh, I can't 
Dichotomy is not set in stone, as beautiful as the winds. But for now, Anarchy, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth. Thinking ahead. <laughs> oh, he goes to sleep on the bench. Look at all these things I'm buying that I rarely use, if at all. Look at this. What do you think's in here, guys? No idea. It's definitely not gonna be a boss. They don't put bosses in circle rooms. Is this what I think it is? Yeah, oh, keen attack. Oh, together. Wouldn't mind doing that again. Ready? You got this. Don't worry about it. Music going ham. I need to scan him. Oh my goodness. Look at all this stuff. Inflicting enough damage will pressure him. A curse will activate when the soul flames possess a statue. Half HP, half MP, deplete ATB, shrink battlefield. Staggering Gein attack will undo the curse. Doom will inflict instant death after a certain amount of time. Uh, can you not do that? That's... That is a lot of damage you just did. I do need to try curing him. Oh, oh, I'm getting Rikard vibes.
Dude, music going fucking ham. Synergy abilities. Uh, we should probably use United Refocus. Man, he looks fucking awesome. Oh, of course, you got little shitters. I need Stardust for it. I also need Scandum. Off him. Synergy abilities. Let's do overfang. Strong motherfucker, dude. Something tells me that isn't good. Stardust ray again. Smackdown. The frames are dying. X, X creation of the gee. Uh oh. Oh, 
Half my HP, okay. God, look at this. I've got to hurry up here. Let's get in there with the uh, limit. Music, dude. Catastrophe. No, oh, I didn't get to use it. I haven't seen him use catastrophe yet. That is a cool fight. Very interesting. Form evanescent, rancor everlasting. Well done. You've become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. Ooh, seriously, that was a fucking that was an awesome boss fight. So interesting, so different. Just making sure I have all the intel. I know I keep checking often, but look. It's the completionist in me, even though there's a bunch of minigames that I'm just not good enough to beat, so. Don't know how I'm gonna do those. Alright, let's go. Wall of Honor. We're here, man. We're here. There he is. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly. Dude, that looks amazing. Covered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait. Is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Who? Oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to seal off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore. Heavens no. 
You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> This is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the veil once more. But I'm a watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Anaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, Start to believe you've seen it all, that no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Or, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry, we will. trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto. Protector of our veil! To me. Who the fuck are you? My name is King Oh, it's you. Natak. Oh, brave and noble Seto. I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. of events indeed we'll back you up for two thousand uh, <laughs> not again no this one's free hmm Wonderful scene, man. I don't know if it has that same element of melancholy as the original. Um, I think the I think the atmosphere of the original is a bit hard to replicate because I think the original was kind of, in my opinion, incredibly dour and depressing. Even when it tried to be optimistic, 
It's difficult to describe. I, I, I don't think I'd be able to tell you why that is. bit more optimistic here though and I think that's part of the themes uh, it's fine I need to get you his uh, ability up uh, can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour anyone because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to you know save our homeland how can you talk like that in a place like this I'm scared out of my wits here. I don't know. This gee dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. Fucking hell, hello. Oh my god, we're going on the... <laughs> we're going on the boat ride to hell. The home of the gee. This is all completely now new, by the way. Begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. Okay. Try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> you are indeed one of them. By lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. Back here. It's been a while. So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. Starts blowing. 
One minute, I'm outnumbered. And the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through ten no times that shit. Are we talking about the same cloud? Come on. The the guy's down. desperate to Maybe prove himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows huh. he's a bona fide badass. So he already... Right, so he was... Tr Biggs has been transported from a different timeline then. Because one's not enough. So he does have all that knowledge and everything. Interesting. And I guess that's what happened to Zack too. And I guess they're in some weird pocket dimension thing. Okay. This is weird. The destruction of Sector Seven was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar. Fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Pedal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks will risk it all. Wait! Don't tell me you're going! The things I do for friends. I wonder how that rift looks to all the folks topside. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or... All the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like... A lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My I bet. Every busted. time I sleep. Yeah, I mine too. All the things I What's that I about anyway? <laughs> Good question. What do you think is going to happen to our baby? Don't know. We've got greetings to Treat you and yours to something you know, special. Remember, 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 I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go camping? Like, the guy who only has to worry about the how. And doesn't have to decide on the what. 
A minor role? Exactly. And I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. Then who might that be? You were the guy with Eric, right? Uh, whoever brought you back, I guess? And assuming there was someone, who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. Hell with it! Let's just do what we want! Start back robbing folks and stop it It's just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> Not this huh. bitch. <laughs> New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's got to be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. <laughs> anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head on too. back welcome home welcome home guess who i just saw biggs really <laughs> said he'd visit too oh yay <laughs> did he say anything about daddy or tifa no uh sorry forgot to ask oh zach would you mind checking on Aerith for me Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. All the flowers have withered. It's me. The wind, that was you, wasn't it?
arrive. Welcome to the village of the Gi. Is this going to be a staff? Finally. It's been how long since she got one? Jesus Christ. Three slots? That's a joke, man. ATB, what? Is it good in this game? Conjure what? Fill ATB charges within the ward to increase your allies' gauges. But, eh. It's just, it's not good. <laughs> Hold on, is it 2 ATB? It doesn't say it costs 2 ATB. So if it's 1, it's probably better. But it costs 2 ATB in Remake, and uh, that was bad. just now our flesh is gone yet our spirits are condemned to linger outsiders such as we are unwelcome forever denied the planet's embrace <sighs> I feel for you can only imagine how tough that's been my kin now dwell within these effigies I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. <laughs> They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. So it's 
Yep. Yep. It's one A to B. Basically the thing I said that they should have done. Thank you. Thank you. Now can I use my ability? Fine. Come on. Uh. Right, Aerith gets her back in. Fucking hell. Can I cast another one? Interesting music.
Do they want the black materia then? To destroy the planet? To end it all? Well, that's imposing. But I got a sinking feeling. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Yep. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. That's a lot of enemies. God damn it. No, you fucking pussy. He gets to revive the sorcerers. Fuck off. You are cheesing the fuck out of me here. Right. Okay. Just go for the sorcerers. Come here, come here, come here. Stop dodging around like a little pussy. Swap, lock onto him. Here 
Dude, he spawned them too quick. This is bullshit, dude. This is awful. They spawn them immediately. You don't have any respite. Do a move. How does it feel to be a bunch of pusses? You're coming back too quick! I can't do anything! Why don't they have a limit on this? Did that seriously just miss? Fucking annoying shitters. Why did he get to just revive like immediately and revive the other sorcerer? No respite. You have no respite. Cringe. Cringe, I say. Cringe. Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The key cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right breed. <laughs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. Hmm. Huh? Alas, it appears we have ended. 
discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Huh? I guess we're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. Okay. Good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. Something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Mm hmm. Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? No. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the black materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Oh, come on! So, Hitze, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Setra Temple anyway? Uh, well, I, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. The terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. Probably Nibelheim, right? Because that's the next destination, and that's when Shinra rebuilt the town. So they would have had all their tech there. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... Uh, what did become of that thing? Ah, yes, now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say. Though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more... practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, Texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? 
I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well, now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Speak with one of the guides and they will escort you to various locations around the settlement. A privileged service offered only to guests of Bugenhagen. Okay. So now we have the run of it. Suppose we'll just head there first. Are you in need of guidance? Nanaki. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. I'm not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it. And this isn't it. Nebo. I am. Nebo. I am. Nebo. I am. Ain't that. Atifa and I grew up. Ah! Oh, of course! Nibelheim had a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had mm. a terminal. Quote. Remember what you told Guy in the tarts back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. Mm. Hmm? We should go. Wait! <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Mibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then. Back to the airstrip we go. Okay. Man, this was a, a long sequence, and now we can finally engage in the side content. Alright, so... We'll be moving on to Nibelheim pretty soon. And we need to call Sid again. Alright, so... I'll be picking up this chapter tomorrow, so, uh... Yeah, I'll see you then.